Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Draw Inside in Adobe Illustrator. Draw Inside is one of three drawing modes, and we switch back and forth between the three of them with the icons in the left toolbar. Now, right now, I'm only seeing the Draw Normal icon, but I can click and hold down on that icon, and I get a flyout menu where I can choose Draw Behind. Draw Inside is grayed out. I'll explain why that is in a minute. You may be seeing all three of your icons side by side. Whatever is selected is how you're going to be drawing. Now for Draw Normal, that's Illustrator's default setting, and that means that whenever I create a new object on the artboard, it's going to go in front of or on on top of any objects which are already on the artboard. So I'm going to get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and I draw out a rectangle and it goes on top of that circle which was already there. Now I'll select the blue circle and come over to the left toolbar and choose Draw Behind. And I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, I'm going to change the color here to a dark green, and then we'll draw out a rectangle. And you see with Draw Behind, the new object is placed behind the object, which is already on the artboard. Now, Draw Inside is completely different than Draw Normal and Draw Behind. It's almost like a mini mask for your objects. I'll get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and I'm going to select my circle. Now, earlier, when we looked at the icons, the Draw Inside icon was grayed out, and that's because there was nothing selected on the artboard to draw inside of. So now that I have something selected, I can come over, click on the icon, and I'll choose Draw Inside. Now I have these dashed lines around the corners of my object, and Illustrator is showing me I've changed drawing modes, and this is the object I'm going to be drawing inside. That's very helpful when you have a lot of different objects on your artboard. Well, now we're going to get the Rectangle Tool, Keyboard Shortcut M, and I'll change the color here and draw out a rectangle and get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and deselect that. And you can see that the part of the rectangle I drew, which is on top of the circle, remains, and Illustrator sort of masks out the rest of it. This holds true whether I'm adding objects or whether I'm using different drawing tools. Once I've finished the drawing inside, then I can either come over to the left toolbar and choose one of the other modes, or I can toggle between each one of these using the keyboard shortcut Shift D. Each time I press Shift D, I toggle to the next drawing mode, and it just goes in order draw normal, draw behind, draw inside, and then back to draw normal. Now I'm going to move to another document and I'll show you more details about draw inside. First, I'm going to grab the leaves, I'll drag them over here on the artboard. Turn on the bounding box, keyboard shortcut, shift command B, because that makes it easier to resize this. I'm going to hold down the shift key so it resizes proportionately, and then I'll turn the bounding box back off, keyboard shortcut, shift command B. Now I'm ready to choose the drawing inside, so I'll come over to the left toolbar, click and hold for the flyout menu, but draw inside is grayed out. Well, that's because both of my leaves are selected and I can't draw inside more than one object at a time. So I'll click on the artboard to deselect both of the leaves, and then I'm going to select the top leaf and come back over, and now I can choose draw inside. For adding highlights, I'm going to use the Blob Tool, Keyboard Shortcut, Shift B, and I'll come over and change the fill color to this lighter green. And then I'm going to just add some highlighting along the edge of this leaf. And when I'm finished, I'll move out of the Draw Inside mode, Keyboard Shortcut, Shift D. Now I'm going to get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and select the second leaf come back over and choose Draw Inside for it. I'll get the Blob Tool again, Keyboard Shortcut Shift B, come back and change the color, and then I'm going to try to add the highlight to this leaf. So I'll start here and just drag it over, but what I tried to do didn't work. Now I can't explain why this happens, it actually shouldn't, but I can show you how to keep it from happening in your project. Now first, I'm going to undo that move, Keyboard Shortcut Command Z, 
and then I'll come over to the layers panel and we see a clipping mask here which is the leaf that I first drew inside of. Now this other leaf is layered on top of it and I have it set up to draw inside but because it's overlapping for some reason Illustrator is going to ignore this object and it's going to place whatever I draw onto that first clipping mask. Well obviously that's not what I want to happen so I'm going to lock the layer. Now the second column right here it's the one right next to the eyeballs. This is where you lock the layer. So I'm just going to press down and that's going to give me a padlock and now this entire layer which is the clipping mask of this first leaf cannot be changed until I unlock it. And if you'd like to know more about how the layers panel works in Illustrator, I'm going to leave a link to one of my tutorials which explains all about it at the end of this video. For now, we have the layer locked and so we're going to be able to draw inside this second leaf after all. I'll go ahead and add the highlights onto the leaf and this time I get what I was expecting. I'm even going to add a little shadowing here. I'll come to the Properties panel and change the color of the stroke to this dark green. And then I'll add a little shadow which goes along the line of the top leaf. I do think that that's a little harsh looking and so I'm going to get the Direct Selection tool, Keyboard Shortcut A. I'll select just this dark highlight part and I'll come over to the Opacity area and I'm going to type in 35% and press the return key. Then I'll click on the artboard to deselect it and I really like the way that turned out so I'm going to go ahead and exit the draw inside mode keyboard shortcut shift D. But what happens if I decide I want to change something after I've moved out of that draw inside mode? Well you can change it the easiest way is to go to the Layers panel and select the object from there. First we're going to unlock the layer and then I'm going to twirl down on that first leaf that we worked on and we're going to target this little highlight area by clicking on the dot in its layer and now we have just the highlight selected and I'll come to the Properties panel if I want to change the color I can click on a different color or if I want to just completely delete it all I have to do is press the delete key. Now I can't just do that without going to the layers panel and selecting that object. That's why it's important for you to familiarize yourself with how the layers panel works. Once I'm completely finished I'm going to get the selection tool keyboard shortcut V and I'll select both of my leaves. I'm going to group them together keyboard shortcut command G and then I'll turn the bounding box on keyboard shortcut shift command B. I'll scale this smaller and then I'm going to move it back up here in the corner. Next I'll grab the rectangle and I'll drag it out a little bigger and then I'll come over to the left toolbar and choose draw inside. I'm going to add polka dots with the blob tool. I'll get that keyboard shortcut shift B and I'll change the color to this bright pink. We're going to add our polka dots and as I add these in here anytime I'm overlapping the edge with the blob tool Illustrator is masking that off and I end up with a really clean edge. Now I can use other things besides the blob tool and the different shapes to draw inside of a rectangle. I'm going to get the paintbrush tool keyboard shortcut B and let's come over and open the brushes panel. I'm going to use this pink circles paintbrush here. I'll move back to the properties panel and I can paint any kind of a design, any shape that I want and anytime I overlap the edge of my rectangle Illustrator is going to mask it and even with the paintbrush tool I end up with a nice clean edge. So you can add any number of things when you draw inside an object and come out with some pretty cool results. Well I'm going to close out of the draw inside mode for this. I'll use the keyboard shortcut shift D and then I'll get the selection tool keyboard shortcut V and select my rectangle. I'm going to resize this a little bit so it'll fit back here in the hole and then I'll come and get the text and I'll enlarge it 
and this text has not been converted to outlines, if I converted it, each of the letters would be considered an individual object, and I couldn't use draw inside on the whole word at once. So don't convert your text if you want to draw inside of it. But I do have to select it. I am going to turn the bounding box off though, keyboard shortcut, shift, command, B. And just so you know, the reason I go back and forth with turning the bounding box on and off is because I like to have it on when I'm resizing objects, but it sometimes gets in my way when I'm trying to draw. So I'll come over and choose the draw inside mode. And now I'm going to get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and I'll change the fill color to a bright orange. And then I'm going to draw right across the center of my letters. I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and I end up with a stripe that's been added right inside my name. Now, if I want it to be a little more organic looking, I'll undo that, keyboard shortcut command Z, and go back to the blob tool, keyboard shortcut shift B, and I'm going to just draw some windy design here. And you can do all sorts of fancy things to your text. I have the blob tool active and I want to change the size of the blob brush quickly. So I'm going to press the return key and that opens up the blob brush tool options dialog box. And I'll change the size of this to 10 points. I'll leave it set on fixed and I'll say OK. And then I'm going to change the color to white and we'll just come and we can add some little dots here. I'm going to speed this part up, but I did want you to see how adding a few objects with Draw Inside can turn your fonts into artwork and give you that wow factor in your project. When I'm finished, I end up with an unusual font that I could never have picked out of a font list, and that's what makes this such a fun thing to work with. The other thing that I love about Drawing Inside is the ability to quickly add shadows with stacked objects like I did with my leaves, and I'm sure you're going to have your favorites as well. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something about Draw Inside and that you'll subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye now.